Welcome to the 2022 Antigua Forum hosted by the Universidad Francisco Marroquin here in Guatemala. Today we are with John Tillman. John is the founder and CEO of the American Culture Project, chairman of Illinois Policy Institute, and the founder and former chairman of the Liberty Justice Center, a public interest law firm that won the Janus versus AFSCME US Supreme Court case. Welcome, John. Great to be with you, Francisco. Well, John, uh, the United States has been a beacon for freedom and opportunity. However, in recent years, uh, there's been a lot of concern, especially for those who believe in limited government and free markets. And uh, you have worked at Illinois, one of the states that you know, seems to have bigger and more costly government than most others. Uh, yet you have built capacities to counter this and be a strong voice for liberty. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you got into public policy and the various capacities you've helped build in Illinois? Sure. I started out uh, in college as a journalism major, political science minor, and then realized uh, I couldn't really make much of a living doing that back in the late 70s, early 80s, and went into business and uh, started out my life in the call center business, eventually became a, a small business entrepreneur. And I was selling a business back in 2004. And by that time, I paid a lot of attention to politics, public policy, political philosophy, and thought, but I really hadn't gotten very involved. And I decided I wanted to get involved. So I started calling every nonprofit think tank organization I could find and tried to work my way uh, into the, this world. And we have a saying in Chicago is when, the, when a guy comes to apply for a job with city government, the foreman will say, who sent you? And the guy will say, well, no one sent me. And then the foreman will say, we don't want nobody, nobody sent. And I learned very quickly that's kind of how public policy was. I had no particular credentials other than ambition. So I just kept going at it eventually. I broke my way into it and started working with some guys that were associated with the Cato Institute and the Club for Growth, and that's how I got my start. Given your role, especially uh, in the call centers and talking to people in retail and other things, um, and then you know just being an effective communicator now in the uh, in the public policy realm, what does the what role does the message and the messenger play in um, helping to persuade others um, on what we believe in uh, for liberty? I think the biggest challenge for most people when they're trying to craft a message is that they want to share the message that matters to them, when actually the most important thing is share the message that matters to your target audience. And this is very hard, I think, in particular for people in the policy arena, working in the think tank community, is most people are very passionate about the ideas and they care deeply about them and they just want to share that with people. But most people that we're trying to educate, persuade, uh, motivate to a call to action to get involved in something, they're not that deeply involved. They're surface skimmers when it comes to policy and frankly politics. And so as a result of that, what happens is that our messengers often say it the way we want to say it and it sort of bounces off the audience. So the most important thing is to try to get inside the head and what I like to say is sell in the language the audience consumes. Then when it comes to messengers, I, I have a little bit of a mixed message. It does really matter deeply to have the right messenger to the right audience. If you're talking to an African-American audience, a Latino audience, a younger audience, a female audience, whatever it might be, whatever particular uh, uniqueness about a group of people you wanna uh, talk about, it's much better to have somebody that can relate and connect. And I think that's always more effective if you can do that. But I do point out to my friends that the two most popular people among younger folks in the last 10 to 15 years in the United States were the very elderly Bernie Sanders on the left and Ron Paul on the right. So those weren't exactly matching up the messenger thing. So the message can trump the messenger is my point there. So for those of us who believe in liberty, free markets, limited government, sometimes that's a, a difficult sell in terms of we're not giving away free stuff. Uh, and so what are some of the greatest challenges uh, for those of us who believe in limited government and liberty uh, in terms of communicating our message to persuade others? Well, let me talk first about what our challenge is by first saying what the other side is doing because I really think it helps us understand what we need to do. The other side has a very compelling message that we sometimes don't think about. Their message is that you're a victim, that the terrible things happening in your life, the struggles you're having, the frustrations you're having are not your fault. It's the fault of rapacious capitalism. It's the fault of some rich guy who isn't treating you right. It's the fault of the system which is giving you disadvantage. Uh, it's the fault of somebody who was born into uh, affluence or wealth versus you who may not have been. Uh, they, so, you, so what they are trying to con con uh, convey to people is that you are a victim and you don't have agency on your, over your life, but the government is the only person and entity organization that can come in and put its foot on the scale to make things fair and righteous for you. 
And that's why we're here to help you. So we're gonna help you with your health care, your education, your housing, your food, your shelter, your clothing. And what the, the really horrible part of that is it really is saying to an individual, you don't have control over your life. You don't have control over your agency. We, on the other hand, are saying to people that bad things happen in life, but you have control. And we're gonna create circumstances where you have a better shot at controlling your own destiny. It's a much harder sell and we have to get better at it. And the way we get better at it is comparing opportunity to dependency and the fulfillment that an individual gets from opportunity. Great, well, John, thank you so much for being with us here at the Antigua Forum. And uh, we hope to see you here in the future. Thanks so much, Francisco. It's been wonderful being with you and being here these, this week. Great, thank you.